That's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. Then does my brother know about it too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Here we go! Hold on! Come on! If you're trying to kill Yuita, I'll do everything to stop you. I just wanted to stay out of this. Fine. Will you please calm down, Sugumi? Kasane is out for blood. She may kill us if we don't give it our all. I didn't trust Seto and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane. <laughs> You and two, we should defeat them one by one. Let's nullify the other two, and then Kasan. Take this!
must train you. This is bad. Kasane, tell me, why did you kill my father and join Seiron? Mm. Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito, Kodama is here. Huh? Uh, wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Oh, Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and this goes for the rest of you as well, but it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule... It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo, to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry. Recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. So much has happened. Let's go over our situation first. Research, it's likely they progressed in the research of the brain. 
gain the ability to turn people into other. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone. The government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes, worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently, I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kind of scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it, unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey. Do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary... I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. <sighs> yes, you're right. Kaito, were you aware of New Himuka's power? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it! The only one that was left in the dark... ...was me. Only me. Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah, uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine, but now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a- You really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? 
That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. is turning people into others. Damn, Kasane. Ever since I met her, she's been hard to figure out. Even talking to her face to face, it kind of feels like we're not on the same page. But she doesn't seem like she'd kill someone for no reason. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, then I just... Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. I hate killing time by myself. So you said you wanted to talk about Sugumi. Did something happen with her? Oh, nothing like that. I'm just a bit concerned. I mean, that girl is kind of difficult for most people. What do you mean, difficult? She doesn't talk a lot, unlike me. And it takes her time to warm up to other people. <laughs> yeah. She is pretty quiet. I've known Sugumi for quite a long time, and we get along just fine. I just worry whether she's getting along with everyone else. And now she's away from me in a new team. So I'm losing sleep worrying that she might be getting left out. We wouldn't do that. I'm sure she's getting along fine with everyone. Oh. Well, if Mr. Straight as an Arrow Yuito says it, I guess I can trust you. I cut. She's not like me. She's a good girl. So you take care of her. I'm counting on you, seriously. Don't worry. You can count on me. Oh, that was kind of unexpected. I never saw him as the type to worry about other people. Sure, he's a joker, but he's actually pretty kind. That being said, I should probably ask him about it. Yeah, I th Hey, Kagro, I have something I want to ask you. Is that okay? It's about... Hmm? Well, you see, 
The world thinks Kasane killed him, but I still can't get myself to come to terms with it. Sorry, but I can't say anything. Maybe I will someday, but not now. Please, he was my father. Well then, let's say Kasane did do it. I'm sure she would have had a good, valid reason for doing so. Fine, but I want to know that reason. And then what? What are you gonna do? It's not something you can forgive just because you know why. Well, yeah, but... Let's just forget all that for now. Why don't we talk about something nicer? Something nicer? He's just... Anyway, let me be straight. Are there any girls in the OSF you like? Anyone that you've had your... What? Where did that come from? Don't be shy. Tell old Kagero how you really feel. Your childhood friend Hanabi, or the cool Kasane? Are you all about a cute face? Or could it be the magnanimous Kyoka? Huh? No, I mean, I never... Um, I guess I never really thought about it. Okay, hold up. So you're serious? You're not just being shy? Life can be really boring without a little desire, kid. What about you? You did seem pretty interested in Sugumi. D -d don't be an idiot! I don't think of Sugumi like that. She and I are best friends. We understand each other. What we have is a connection of the souls. It's deeper than just a man and a woman. So you're almost like family. I understand that kind of thing better than talking about what my type is. <sighs> you really are lame and boring. If you don't loosen up, you might just end up suffocating yourself. Well, I've never really had any problems before. All right, I got it. Sir Kagero will teach you how to have some real fun. Uh, no, I'm fine. I am a very strict teacher. It's probably best you bring an energy drink next time we meet. But I said I didn't want to. And right when I was beginning to think he might take things seriously, Turns out he...